Mother's Day and Mom's Torture. It was when Gattu and Chinki's dad was going out of town on an office trip. Kids, don't bother mom. And along with sports, focus on your studies as well. I will come back within a week. Grandma is coming to give you company, okay? And take this money so that you can eat whatever you want. Dad gave some money to Gattu and Chinki and went away. As soon as their father left, their mom's torture started. Gattu, Chinki, you are still sleeping? Get up, you have to go to school. Mom, please give five minutes more. Did you forget what your dad has told you? Do not bother mom. Get ready immediately. I will drop you at school. Dad too used to adjust. Whenever we used to get late, he never used to go to office without dropping us at school. You too let us sleep for a while. Then you can take us to school. I am your mom, not your dad. Wake up soon, otherwise you won't get anything. No breakfast, no lunchbox. On hearing this, Gattu Chinki got angry and got up from the bed and started getting ready for school. I have kept both your lunch boxes in your bags. Pick your bag up and come down. I have called the taxi online. It will be here in a while. Dad used to carry our bags to the car. Then why are you asking us to pick our bags? I am not your dad. I am your mom. Stop repeating the same things over and over again. Let's hurry up. Seeing this harsh treatment of their mom, Gattu Chinki almost started crying. We won't go to school with you. If not with me, then with whom you will go? With Hari's father. We will go with him. Mom also got angry after hearing this. Go with whoever you want. Don't bother me. Saying this, their mom got furious and went inside the kitchen. Gattu Chinki also got angry and walked out of the hall. And their grandmother kept watching all this, sitting on the couch. After Gattu Chinki's school ended in the evening, they came outside for returning back to home. That's when Hari came running to them. Hey man, I'm really sorry. Dad is stuck in a meeting, so he's not coming to pick us up. My mother is coming and that too on her scooty. But the three of us won't be able to go on that. If you say, I can tell my mom. My mom will call your mom and then your mom will also come to pick you up. Hearing this, both of them said, No need of that. Then what? Gattu and Chinki started walking towards their home. Hari's mother is so nice. She came to take him. Our mother could have also come to pick us up. Why will she come? She doesn't love us at all. While talking to each other, both of them reached the Bola Kachori Center, whose kachoris were famous in the city. Bola has opened his shop for the first time after lockdown. Now we will go only after eating kachoris. Yes, Papa has given us lot of money. Then what? Both of them ate kachoris and paid the bill to Bhola Seet. Mom also likes kachoris. We should take some kachoris for mom also. No, no, no. She doesn't think about us. Then why we will think about her? Then Gattu and Chinki came back to home. Grandma was waiting for them in the hall. Here you are. Where is your mom? Hearing that, Gattu and Chinki were shocked. Where is mom means? Isn't she at home? As soon as she came to know that Hari's father would not be able to pick you up, your mother went to school to pick you. After hearing this, Gattu and Chinki got upset. Grandmother, we came back walking, but we didn't meet mom on the way. Grandma calls mom, but her mobile was out of network. Seeing this, Gattu Chinki became even more upset. Gradually, it became night, but their mother didn't return back home. Gattu and Chinki came to grandma and started crying loudly. Grandmother, when will mom come back? Grandmother, we want our mom back. Gattu and Chinki kept crying for a long time and slept weeping in grandma's room. It was 9 o'clock in the night. Gattu and Chinki were sleeping when they heard a conversation between their mother and grandmother. Today I was so worried. And then the security guard told me that children had left for home. Even my mobile was out of network. What were you doing for so long? If you would have come straight to home, then you would get to meet the children. As soon as the guard told me the children had left for home, I also started walking towards home. Then on the way, I stopped at Bhola Kachori Center. Thought to take some kachoris for the children, I stood in the queue and that's why I got late. Hearing all this, Gattu and Chinki's sleep went away. Both of them realized their mistake. 
and jumped off the bed and went straight into their mom's lap and started crying.